This is the video review of Capsize on PC Steam. I'm just gonna go ahead, I will guess I'll check out that campaign, Let's see what it is. Um, well, Capsize is a 2D platformer. It's got tons of shooting. Uh, the story is you've crash landed on an alien planet, but you have to get the hell off of it. Um, with a bunch of guns, a grappling hook, and boost jets, just about anyone can find some fun in this cool little game. You can see there's some kind of physics there. You jump on certain uh, environmental things, rocks, um, and they, they, they act with you. You can push over certain things. Um, sometimes you'll want to use the grappling hook to grab that and pull that. You'll see that in a little bit. Um, there are 12 missions in this game to complete. And as you get further in the game, they uh, they take longer to complete. Uh, the first tush, the first mission took me about 15 minutes to beat, um, and then when I played it again, it maybe five five minutes or so. So as you play more and more, you tend to remember the puzzles in the game and where to go. The game is fun as there are puzzles to solve, but they're not straightforward type of puzzle where you um, you know you put the red block in the red the red hole. It's more of a camouflage, so it doesn't seem like a puzzle, but it is. I don't really know. That's just the best way for me to describe it. Uh, you don't know you're doing the puzzle most of the time. You have to move a rock or pull a rock, but it seems like it's that's what you would have wanted to do anyway. There's a bunch of guns, like I said, in this game. The guns are pretty rad. Uh, the developers say this game is a first-person controls that is what it's supposed to feel like. And if you use a gamepad like I do, the controls come natural. The buttons are intuitive and just feel right. Um, which is awesome because with the arsenal that you're given, you want to be able to use them at their fullest. And with the gamepad, you really are. You can see here, like, I'm able to aim and shoot. And I can shoot the guy in the head. I don't think it does any extra damage, but it makes you feel good. Like these guys here who are flying, it's easy to shoot them as you're falling and flying around. You can use the jetpack and, and move around easily and freely. I never felt that I was being penalized or um, handicapped because of the controls at all. The enemies do range from flying aliens to person-like things that walk around. There are a few ambushes in the stages and the enemies do seem challenging at times, which is fun. Uh, there are fights that you will run away from because it's an ambush or there's just too many guys shooting at you at once. You can see right here, it's like a little puzzle. You have to kind of stand on it and push it over. It's not a puzzle per, per se, but it it's something, hey, I want to get in there. I can see that I can get in there. How do I get in there? Now, I could use the grappling hook on that block that fell over and pull it if I wanted to. There's real no use for it here, but maybe I needed some kind of cover or something. Now each stage has a certain number of enemies to kill in it, there's no respawn. So once it's clear, you're good to go and find out what you missed or what you need to do to complete the stage. Uh, the jetpack is really fun. You can uh, tool around the stage and shoot, you know, because the controls feel so good, you know where you're going to be flying. The gravity hook lets you interact with puzzles and enemies, like I said, and um, with other environmental um, items. It's awesome feeling to drag a rock to the edge of the stage and drop it down on an, on an unsuspecting bad guy. The hook lets you dangle from ceilings and shoot and swing into better positions to move around the stage. So you don't have to rely on the jetpack, but it's just an extra alternative. The game overall is really, really fun. Uh, it surprised me because when you first look at the screenshots in the video on Steam, the game just kind of looks boring or eh, meh. Like the art style's good, but it's just a little, um, it's a little maybe a little drab, I guess you, you could say. Um, as I got into it more and more, um, and I, I, when you first kill that first, when you kill that first bad guy, the game lured me in, to be honest. Um, it just gets more interesting as you progress, and each level is different. It's not the same as the other. The landscapes do change. It's not just, you know, a change in the color or a cut and paste. Each one feels and plays differently. I got a lot of play out of this, and to me, um, it's, it's a little game, but it's not. Um, when you first look at it, that's what I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh, this game's going to be about an hour. It really isn't. It's got some more play, play to it. You'll want to go back and try to beat it again or just to, to kill shit. I would recommend this game to anyone who likes platformers or action titles. Uh, 
there are a lot of things to shoot, but it's not waves and waves of guys. It's paced really well. If you enjoyed Shadow Complex, this could be a good option for you. Uh, there isn't as many guys in this to kill, but there's enough to satisfy your hunger for blood. Um, with solid controls, decent sound, and music to fit the atmosphere, a decent story, and fantastic gameplay, Capsized on PC Steam is definitely worth checking out.